January 19th is the first day of a trial about a man who was injured on a Yamaha Rhino sport utility vehicle. I'm Rachel Garrett for GBC News, and this case is the first of many just like it to be held here in Gwinnett. Roger McTaggart is one of a long line of people who have been severely injured from the rhino flipping over unexpectedly. Troy Rafferty is the lawyer representing McTaggart. He says Yamaha knew about the safety issue from the beginning. Yamaha knew for years, uh, many years, in fact several years before uh, the Yamaha was ever sold to the American public, that it was going to roll over and that it rolled over very easily and that when it did roll over, people's legs were going to come out and that it would, they would be crushed underneath the weight of the rhino. And they knew that for years and yet they refused to put doors on the, uh, on the rhino. Rafferty said that McTaggart, who is the plaintiff in this case, was routinely working on his farm when the rhino flipped over and crushed his leg. The vast majority of cases are low speed rollovers on flat terrain where people's legs come out as a result and they get crushed under the weight of the vehicle. Rafferty is planning to prove in the trial that the Yamaha Rhino is defective. As long as the truth comes out about what, what the development and the, uh, and the decisions were of Yamaha in regards to the Rhino, then I, you know, I, I think it will be evident and very clear to everybody that for years Yamaha knew that this was a defective product. David Mondi is the lawyer representing Yamaha in this case. He was unable to be reached for comment today. Mr. Rafferty told me this is not technically a class action lawsuit, but it is significant because so many people have had the same problem with the Rhino. Now we will be covering the trial, which starts on January 19th, so be sure to stay tuned. For GBC News, I'm Rachel Garrett. Thanks for watching.